Hello and welcome to Let's Play Solitaire. Let's get started, shall we? All right, first things first, I'd like to play anything in the columns I can. And sometimes take a move or two back. Looks like we got two kings here. Uh, Jack could go here, maybe. I'm not sure what I can do with this 10. Anyway, uh, make mental notes, of course, too. I like to save the first card that I can play, if it's possible, as insurance for later. Because you never know how this play out. But then I'll play a little more aggressively, so I'll start playing these cards. There's 24 cards in that draw pile, and you want to be able to get out as many as you possibly can. Otherwise, you're going to run into trouble. Yeah, that's the best I can tell you there. And he, ooh, this is a tough one. I don't know if I want to do that. Those can get you in trouble, those little cards sometimes. But, oh, no, no, it won't this time. Not this time. Not this time. We're going to play it. We're going to play it. We have the Ace of Diamonds here, so we can put it up there. And uh, anyway, if you are looking for tips on how to get better, if you look in the link in the description below, there's a link to a playlist called Solitaire Tips. Uh, I've got my favorite couple videos linked as well. I've also got a playlist called Let's Play Solitaire with games just like today. Actually, today's is in there as well. So just something to consider. But uh, yeah, so. Okay, good news is we've got two kings, one column. I'm going to play this seven, or play this two of diamonds, three of diamonds here. And we did not get to the ace of clubs. That would be a good card. I think it's probably somewhere in this cluster here. I'm going to wait on these two kings. I just want to see how this plays through. I'd like to get that queen down, of course, too. Oh, there's the ace of clubs. Okay. So we got to figure out how to get that one going here. Let's see. I think the queen... Oh, boy. Okay. I'm trying to think of a path here. One of the big things, big tips, I would say, is just being able to manage this draw power right. So we need to get this ace of clubs down. And there are two cards you need to move for that. We need to get this queen down. We need to move two cards for that as well. So the first card that we can move is this ace of spades right here. Now we could, we will get to those kings, but not yet. You know what? Time out. Why not get to them right now? I don't know why I'm waiting in that. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. That's an eight. All right, let's see what this other one gives us. A red ten. Okay, we can play that. Ace of hearts, we can play. A nine. Um... All right, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. It's another another option. Okay, so back to the original plan here. And that, eh, yeah, we can play this eight, too. So that gets us the ace of clubs. So there's there's also more than one way to play. So, like, like you have a certain strategy and stuff. It may work some of the time. It doesn't work 100% of the time. Some strategies work better than others is another thing I can tell you here. So this was a, a red eight. That's a bad card. Unless we, we can get it. Well, you know what? If we had a black nine, we could play either one of these eights. That would actually give us a decent chance of breaking this open. I feel like we're getting close, though. So, uh, that's not good. Okay. So four spades there. Can't play that. We need to get to the queen. Not this queen. The black queen, that is. And to do that, we need to move one, two cards. So the first card we're going to move is this Ace of Spades. The next card we're going to move is the Six of Spades. So we're going to click through again. There's the Six of Spades. Now we should get the Queen. Now the question is, could we get that Jack? We need this Jack right here, Okay. We need to move two cards in front of that, okay? One of the cards we can move is this nine. We have to move a card in front of that. Before that, that would be the four diamonds. We play that. We'll click through again. Now we can move the nine, and there we have the eight. Oh, and by the way, we'll be able to put the jack down and play this ten under it. And, uh, yeah, I think I'm missing a few moves here. You know what? We can even get to the jack this way. That's an easier way to do it. But if you had to go the other way, that would work too. Okay. Okay. Got a couple columns here. One of them has the nine. We don't like this one. Has uh, what does it have? A jack. Has a black jack, and there's a black jack here. That could be a problem. We might have to totally reconstruct this whole setup here. You might, because I am not seeing it. Yeah, I'm not seeing the angles here. 
So we had a red nine here. Not good. We go back there. We had a red nine. So we got a red eight. Sorry. We have a red eight here. So we have a red eight there. And we have a black jack. Oh boy. Gonna have to go back a little while. So here's the red eight. So, oh, this was the option. We could have played the other red eight. We played this one, right? Okay. That led us nowhere. Oops, mistake on my part. I said something about that too, didn't I? All right, so now we can play this queen or should we not? Well, if there's a card behind there we can play. We can play the jack. We shouldn't play the queen. Of course, we can play the jack that way, so we can play the queen anyway. All right, good news is we got everything out there. But I think we want... Oh, boy. That seven is an interesting card. I may actually, what I'm thinking is there's a black six under here. We could potentially move that, but let's see where this one leads us first again. So that's a dead end there. So let's go back a little bit. Let's, uh, again, managing this draw pilot is very important. Very, very important. Okay, so here we are, scenario one. Okay, now where is that seven? I think the seven is a critical card here. There's a three of hearts in front of it. And the three of hearts is right here. So we already moved one card. So I think in this situation, we don't play anything. Oh, wait. We need another eight, wouldn't we? So we're going to play this eight right here. We're not going to play anything. We get the black seven. So again, managing the draw pile is huge. Now we can play all these cards. But we're gonna we're gonna get that black seven. Now, do we get something important under there? That that's another story. I, I don't know. But we managed to draw power. We got the extra move. So five. We could go six of diamonds. We can't go anything further. We can move this king here. And again, nothing there. We could bring that down, but that would just, uh, that's going to tell us a bad game. So the other alternative I see here is there's a black jack under here. Maybe we could swap out the black jack for the black jack right here. So I'm going to see if that is even feasible. We're going to have to go back quite a few moves. Okay, so blackjack came from here. So that's not good. Not good at all. But, you know, maybe we can find something here. There's a queen, there's a six, we move two cards. I'm keeping track of cards. Oh, no, we got the ace of clubs. That's the card I wanted there. Do some diamonds there. Two and three of clubs. Okay. So we got the blackjack here. We're gonna play that. That gives us a three of spades. Again, if there's a red four somewhere, I think we can play that three of spades. I think there is a red four. Oh, there's a red four right here, okay. So, do we play this red? We're going to play this red jack next. And then we'll get to that four. Oh, that's interesting. So, there's a red jack under here. So, that's not good. But a black queen would help. I think this two is okay to bring down here. It might not be the smartest move. Okay. Let's see. Four clubs will play. I'm just going to play what I can out of the draw pile. Try to get as many of these cards out of the way. Let's see. Okay, so here is the... Here's the setup here. We get that four, and we'll see what's under the three. Can we continue? Or not? Six of clubs. Is there a five of clubs there somewhere? 
No, no five of clubs. Okay, that's not working. Hmm, don't like that angle. Let's go back one here. So a lot of choices here. A lot of choices today, and none of them have been working so far. We do have three kings. I gotta think we could figure out one combo here. So there's that ten. There's an ace of hearts there. Two hearts we can play. Play the eight at the end. See, the other combo was that was where you had the two eights. We didn't like that, but there was a black nine right here. So we go jack nine. We have two. Two eights. We couldn't figure out which way to go with the two eights, could we, though? That was the problem, right? We took this eight. That was a six. We played the seven here. That, oh, that gives us an open column. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that was a the problem there. The other option... We played this eight. That gave us the king. But unfortunately, we couldn't figure out a way to open up one of these columns. Because that would allow us to get rid of the rest of these cards. Again, we play that. We played the seven down there. Clubs. Even if we didn't play that setup, we, play, we leave this here. So now we can play three of hearts, diamonds, clubs, and that doesn't work either. Oh boy. This one is becoming tricky. There's got to be one more move. Okay, what am I missing here? Maybe the only thing I see that I haven't touched yet, if this is when you get stuck like this, you got to ask, <coughs> what else could we do differently? We messed around with some of the jacks. Could we do the red jack, maybe? Could we do nine for nine? Okay, I don't know. I'm going to see. So nine for nine or red jack. That's what I'm looking at. Maybe nine for nine, possibly red jack. Ha! That's good. I'm gonna play everything out of the start here too. Totally change things up here. The seven will be our insurance card. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw it. I'm gonna take a different approach here. <clears throat> Typically speaking, saving that card as insurance is a good move. But uh, this time, you know, I, I don't know. We gotta try something different because it wasn't working. So there's uh, ten, ten, ten. So we got ten. We got a jack. A jack angle. I think we get two dead end. Though. That's a problem. And then this one is just double eight. So we got eight, red eight, red ten, red eight, red ten, black jack. We need another column open. We said not to do this nine, though. I think that's what we came to the conclusion. Why did we... We came to that conclusion, didn't we? Yeah, because in this one we couldn't play. Well, that angle doesn't... Does that work? I don't think that angle worked either. We tried that one. We still have the seven and the nine in play. <coughs> well, let's just try this angle and see... It might be something. It could be something I missed. It's always. I mean, sometimes when you get stuck at the end of the game, you, it could be something you missed too. So, yeah, we'll we'll see if this works here. So seven, seven, nine, are in play. It's Jackson play. We don't want to play this eight. Well, you know what? We can play this eight. It doesn't matter. We've got two eights there. All right. 
We don't want to play this seven because there's another seven to play. But there is a six and a five. Uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes here. So saving that as insurance. So we're gonna to have to want to play the six five. We'll play this seven because we get we get two eights, so we can we can flex it, move it around however we want. All right, let's see. There's a black six there. Okay. All right. Let's see if I lose count of everything here. All right. Now let's try this seven nine. There were two eights, so that was a problem. But we can move the six. We can move that as well. Although if we move this six, that could be a problem. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll see how this plays out here. I felt like this was this was a dead end. We'll see, Jack. Yeah, that's a dead end there. We got the eight still, but there's a six under there. We can't move that because we already played the six. So let's back up a little bit more here. Okay. So the other option was to not play this. Come back, play this jack here. Again, managing the draw pile. Big theme here. All right, now we play the nine. Now we play the eight. There's the six. Five. We have an open slot for a king. But again, one of the problems we were running into is that... Oh, let's see, we want to play the six of diamond suit, don't we? Ah, we have to play the four, don't we? One of the problems we were running into is that we could not... Uh, Get past well let's see we can do the five six that won't work because we need two sevens there and it's going to tell us dead in there okay so we need to take a different approach with one of these two setups here there's gotta be a different way to do that. now ideally we'd like to go uh, like diamond spades, we don't have a three of spades in play, so spades is not a way to play. Uh, hearts is not a way to play either. Really, the only we can do is diamonds clubs, but we don't have the clubs, they're in here somewhere. So, gotta go back here and try to figure this one out. Well, this one is definitely challenging. Let's go back a little ways and see. Maybe we can swap this nine for nine. Maybe we can swap this jack for jack. Or again, I think we look at the jack angle. Let's see if we get the nine angle though. All right, let's not touch this nine here. Let's try. Yeah, we need to move one or two more, don't we? We get this jack. So seven's our insurance card. Hmm. Is that queen there? Two. You play that jack and this ten. I think that'll be the next play right there. Oh, we can play a six as well. Oh no, no, we don't want to play that six. Yeah, that six might not be a good play. Although the seven is a good play. Let's so let's go play the seven. Play that six there. You just gotta figure out how to get the four hearts out. And a few more cards. Alright, there's the jack, there's the ten. We didn't want to play this nine, that was the thing, but we couldn't get we need to get this king out of there. It's so like we had to play that nine, and then we couldn't move there. That is interesting setup here. This might not be solvable, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. All right, let's go through again. We have an insurance card there. We have three diamonds we'll play. We can play that. Last 
last card we don't want to bring down. Okay, so there's the four clubs. Hmm. Oh, if we could place five. We could place five spades. We could move this four. That might be an option. Let's see. What am I missing here? I'm missing something. Oh, I'm missing this nine. Okay, the jack there. We don't have a red ten, do we? Oh, boy. So that angle is not working. Let's see what else we try here. There's got to be a way. I feel like I'm one move away. I'm just trying to figure out what. Which one that is. All right, so we need... We need to be able to play the five. So let's go back one or two more. All right, we, need, we know we need to be able to play the five of spades right there. Let's go back another one. Let's go back one more sequence here. Okay, we know we need to be able to play the five of spades. It's a very important card. So, we need to figure out how to get the six of diamonds in play. And I think the only way to do it is go way back and maybe not play the seven of spades. I don't know. Okay. And we had to play the seven of spades. That was our insurance card. All right, this is becoming really interesting here. We want that card for insurance. Oh boy. Yeah, we need to have that jack, don't we? We need the five of spades, so I gotta change. I gotta look back and oh boy, you gotta be able to manage the draw power long into the short end. Okay, so first card is a seven, we can't play that. Apparently this five is like super critical. So we need to put a seven and a six to get to the five. So we're gonna play the seven here. We are going to play the six here. We'll get the five up. Once we move this six we'll be able to move the four from there and maybe that route goes so there's going to be a seven red seven in play right we need a red seven in play oops yeah i'm gonna leave this queen here just in case i can play this queen though because there's two red kings all right let's try this again here not gonna play the jack yet there's the five there's the five. We need a red seven. We played one card so far, so we need to play two cards. Actually, we can play, yeah, two cards to get the red seven. So play three diamonds. We're gonna get that red seven out. So yeah, managing the drop off, very critical part of this game. And this is guarantee you can solve it, but it greatly increases your chances. So now we can move this four. All right, black queen, okay. Okay, we still got moves. There was a red nine. We wanted to move under the ten, I believe. There's the red nine. Okay. Black nine there. Okay. Now we can move this red nine. Now we can move uh, the red eight, I believe. That was a six, though, that we couldn't swap for the six. So maybe we don't move ready. We needed to get a red jack, which we have, I think, somewhere here. There's the red jack. Now, I think I want to play this eight first and this three first. We the four hearts there. Let's move the clubs there. So five of spades. I think that's all we have in terms of... We need to figure out a way to move some more cards around. So let's move the jack. There, we can move this 10 or the other 10 and move the king. There's an eight under this 10, of course. So one option is to, oops, let's go here. 
Red Jack. Oh, that's good because now we can play both tens. All right. Five of clubs we can play. Seven of diamonds we can play. Five of hearts we can play. Okay. Six of clubs we can play right there. Let's see. We can. I think we're going to solve this. I really am starting to think we're going to solve this here. So this was the six of hearts here. So we could play that that way. The other option is we could play this eight here. That gives us a king and a ten and a nine. And that allows us to play both eights. So that's the option we want. Now we have all the cards in the columns down. And we will get this done. Wow. Wow, that was a tough one. I, I knew there was a way, though. That was... Yeah, let's, let's get a rank up there. Top 25 games, maybe? Maybe something like that. Wow. That was a tough one. We got it done. Uh, yeah, hopefully I was able to teach you a trick or two. For those of you that stuck around and seen uh, all the ways it didn't work. But we found a way. We found a way. And managing the draw pile is very critical. And like I said, there is a playlist with more tips called Solitaire Tips. Uh, links in the description below. The uh, best two, in my opinion, are Solitaire Complete Tip Guide and How to Win a Solitaire. I think I can put separate links in the description below for those as well. And a playlist with games. Today's is on there too. It's called Let's Play Solitaire. Thanks again to those of you that are still watching and uh, good luck.